Hey, gals and guys, it's Chris Mosier from uh, MediaHelper.com, and this time out, we're going to take a look at how to create and design Christmas photo albums for your loved ones and friends for Christmas time. And I'm not going to do a whole photo album. I'm just going to give you tricks and tips on how to do that. I could probably make a whole YouTube channel on how to do photo albums uh, and various topics and various videos, but I'll give you the nitty gritty as far as to get you going. I mean, there's so many varieties of things that you can do. Um, it's really up to your imagination to what what direction you want to go in it. But I'll give you some tools and kind of some insight and and what I do as far as making um, photo albums are concerned. So for Christmas, once upon a time in another lifetime, when I happen to be married um, every year, uh, my ex-wife and I both had cameras. So we take a lot of pictures throughout the year. So I decided what I would do is just for each Christmas, because we had money to get what we wanted, right? Every year, we didn't necessarily need to get each other Christmas presents. So instead of that, I made a photo album every year, combining all our pictures together. And then I would put them on uh, Snapfish as the service I would use. And we're talking uh, almost 10 years ago. And since then, uh, Snapfish has updated their database or their services or wherever they, they store all their shit. Anyways, the reason I bring that up is because they mutilated <laughs> my past books. Okay, I think I started in 2012. Um, this might have been the first book. They totally mutilated uh, my books, and it looks like they moved in 2015 because here's a book from, from 2013, I, if you look at the cover. So when they brought the, the information and the photos and the books over, they didn't do, do a particularly great job. Some of them are okay. Some of them are not. So I just want to show you as far as um, what they kind of look like, and then we'll get into some some tools. And how do you get into the next page? All right, I'm not sure what it's doing there. So this is a particular, um, this is a 12 by 12. And once we figure out what it's doing here, we will um, get into it. And you can, there's a, there's a mazillion, gazillion services out there that will do on-demand photo books. So you don't necessarily need to do Snapfish. It's just one I've been using for years. And I have no idea what the hell it's doing here. So I'm just going to refresh and go back to, to Snapfish. <laughs> Okay, so if you go to Snapfish, it's right at the top here. It's photo books, and we'll do that again. And obviously, here's the different sizes. I usually would do the 12 by 12, so they're pretty, they're pretty big. Um, and usually, I do the design my own, so I'm going to do that. And then they are kind of pricey, and um, you can get a discount on them. They're not always what they say, but just keep in mind it is extra for each page that you add. I probably spent, mm, I don't know, 100 bucks maybe uh, after all said and done. But you have to remember, I this was I haven't been married for quite a long time, five years. So I'm sure paper has gone up since since then, and the prices of these things have gone up. Also, at that time, I did not have Canva. I did not have the tools that I had at the time. I had Photoshop, and that's basically all I would use. I would use uh, Snapfish templates, and I would use Photoshop. So now we have all these great tools that we can use now, and I'm going to show you uh, what you can do with them. Okay, so what I would do is if you want to use like Photopea, I have tutorials out there on Photopea. I have tutorials out there in Canva uh, on AI, how to use AI with Canva, how to use Photopea. But let's just go um, 12 by 12 because that's that's the size I want for my particular album. And you can pick whatever um, you're going to pick there, whatever those album sizes were when, they, when we looked at it, right? So any of these sizes, just put it in the search. And then just look for something free, as you know or do not know. Um, with the crowns here, in order to get those, you have to have a, the paid service. And the ones without the crane, crowns, cranes, <laughs> are, are free to use. So I'm just going to grab whatever 12 is because I'm not going to use any of this crap anyways. So I'm just going to delete all this stuff because really all I'm using is the size. And you just highlight with your... Um, mouse just left click over it once it's highlighted and get rid of it and then you can change the color by going over here let me shrink myself and we'll just make it white okay and then i will download it um it's gonna let me download it why is it not so uh, so it's not letting you download anything blank that's pretty stupid so i don't know we'll just fake it out then turn this white that's pretty stupid, Canva. 
whatever, 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 whatever. And then you can overbleed it a little bit, just in case. There. Now we should be able to download it. That's stupid. <laughs> okay, <laughs> whatever. All right, so we'll download that. And then you can call it whatever you want up here. Um, I don't know, photo album template if you want, photo album white, whatever. All right, and the reason I'm doing that is because you can bring this over to Photopea, and then we'll open it. And then you can play around with Photopea. Let's see what the resolution is on this. Because you want it you want it pretty high. So you want it either 300 or 600. So let's do 300. Oh, that seems really big. Oh, 300. I put 3,000. Um, yeah, that's more like it. Because you want the resolution really big. I don't know where the hell it disappeared to. What in the world happened to it? All right, let's try that again. It's just one of those days, it seems, right? Well, that's interesting. Let's close this. Let's open this. Let's open. OK, I'm not sure what that was about, but all right. And we'll go 300. And we'll go OK. OK. Whatever. So if that happens to you, just close it and um, reopen it. We can zoom out. OK, and then you just you hit this to zoom out. And then you can put anything you want here. So if you want a different color, you could just do this. You can go fill. And then I don't know. You can have any color you want. Go OK, and it will fill. Well, I didn't want to do that. Image. Where's Phil? Where's Phil? Phil. OK, then go OK. All right. So you can play around with the colors there. So we'll get back to we'll get back to Photopea. Because you can do the same thing here. And the only reason you would use Photopea is can you you can manipulate the photos a little better than you can with Canva. For Canva, you can't really um, turn them. And with Photopea, it's very easy to turn them. So I'll tell you what I mean in, in just a moment. So I don't have any particular um, plan for this video. So here's two here's two sites that I'm going to link in the description. And you can play around with these. You can put in Christmas background. And you can use these as background. We can uh, create a title for this book. And um, I don't know. Let's let's just grab this and download it. Oops. And just always make sure. I always do that, too. Always make sure um, you got the highest resolution you can get. And I wanted this one, actually. So, But I think it did download. And then we will go back over to Canva. Let's actually close this because we don't need that anymore. And is that what I downloaded? No, that's not what I downloaded. Oh my God, gals and guys. It's one of those days, one of those days. What is going on with this stuff today? So weird. Why is that way over there? <laughs> what the hell is going on? All right, so we'll close that. We'll bring this back up. Jesus. And we'll put Christmas background. I tell you. Christmas background. All right. And then we go to the one that we want, which is this one. And then I will download it. All right. And then I will come over here. And there it is right there. OK. And I'll put it right here. That will be my background. OK, you can double click it and, and move it around if you want. Actually, uh, actually, that's pretty cool. All right, and then um, you can go over the title. And let's just put Christmas photo album. You can do it in caps or lower cases, obviously. And up here is where you can manipulate it. So if you want it 
bigger. You can have the font as big as you want. I'll do 90 and I'll drag this to this area and this area. Uh, you know, do I want it black? Do I want it white? Do I want it that particular font? And you just play around with it. I don't want to spend too much time playing around with this, but um, yeah, we'll do that. We'll make it white. And then the reason I'm making white is because I'm going to do effect. And then you can go to shadow. And you can turn this to black. And then I will go back to effect. And I will bring this up to like 75. And 75. Now that might be too too white, and it's um, you know it's not really jazzing me. So what I can do is kind of make it reddish. Oop, I gotta highlight it, and then I'll go in here. And I'll make it a little more reddish. See how that goes. That's kind of an ugly red, but you get my point, right? So you can go in here and just play around with with the color. All right, that's not very good, but but that's okay for this particular uh, sample. So you go to Facebook, you can download. If you're not aware, if you go to like Facebook, and I'll go to my, and then if you have like friends, you can grab their photos, and I'll grab the Santa. He's no one I know. <laughs> I just downloaded it because I love his shirt. I survived anorexia. <laughs> So I'm going to upload that. We'll just pretend that's Uncle Al. <laughs> oh, he's drinking his. And then you can put uh, images on here. You can shrink it. And you might be able to find borders. So let's go to elements, uh, borders. And you got borders. See these? See the crowns? So those are um, those you have to pay for. These are free. And you can just do this and just shrink it to where you want it and play around with that. And then you can come over to Google and then you can put in um, photo edges. So let's grab a photo edge. Let's see what we have here. Or you can put photo clip art if you want clip art. Um, there's a variety of things you can do with that. So let's just grab this. All right, we're going to save this image. Now, once upon a time, I'll show you both ways, but you used to have to use, um, let's see what the size is. You used to have to use Photoshop. Then Photopea came along. It's, it's the same thing. Um, that's two, I want to do 300. So that's 983 by 1046. So let's do new. And what did I say? 1083 by 946 or something like that? It doesn't matter. 946, 300, transparent on that. And I'll create. Okay, so I want to grab this and I'm going to zoom out, zoom out. And I'm going to copy. And then I'm going to paste. All right, it's not exact, but that's okay. I'm going to show you what you're going to do. Then you grab this little doohickey here, and you highlight. It will highlight all the whites, and then just hit delete. And then you can crop again. So just grab this tool right here and just kind of line it up and drag along, clicking down your left button on your mouse. And once you get it to where you want, you can crop. Okay, and then it's not the best, but again, uh, you do better than I've done. I'm just, these are all just examples. And then I'm just going to put Holly frame or Christmas frame or whatever you think. Okay. And then I can go over here and then I can move my dopey head and grab this. It's always got to be a PNG. Um, if you do a JPEG, you're going to, it's going to fill it in automatically with white. So there you go with the background. So we can get um, here, I'll grab one of these dudes. These are my other projects. This is Uncle Stan. <laughs> I don't know who Uncle Stan is, but all right, let's set. Oops, I didn't want to do that. 
Um, we want to layer him. We want to just send him back. So we'll send him back. I didn't want to do that. What happened? Let's try that again. Do, do, do. Yeah, let's do him first, actually. Let's bring him over. Shrink him. And we'll get our border. And kind of got to be careful so it doesn't. There we go. All right. And then we can kind of grow him. Kind of move that. Kind of grow him so it fits. So if he's kind of over, you can go up like this a little bit and then bring this over. And then bring this over a little bit more. And just play with it until you get it exactly the way you wanted. So again, you know, you want to play with it, but that's that's just your your general idea of how you can do that. And then once you're done, this is going to be your photo album cover. So download it. And what does this say? Unlock your entire content library of over a thousand. Oh, that might be. Oh, so that one I grabbed uh, must have had a crown on it. I didn't notice. So you can't download anything with a crown unless you unless you upgrade. So I just took it off of there. But you can find one that um, that doesn't have a, a crown on it. See, all these have crowns. Yeah, this one that did have a crown on it. So if it doesn't have a crown, you can you can grab it, or you can go and and do what exactly I just showed you. All right, so let's go back here. We're gonna do our own design. Um, Let's make this photo book. And then you should be able to name it someplace. Let's open it up here. Um, not right the second. Where do you name it? Right here. So photo book or Christmas album 2023, whatever you want to do. All right, I'm going to get uh, a photo of I'm going to get a, a picture. And then these are the templates you can use to utilize. So for instance, this is for your cover, and then you can just drag images over if you want. Um, there's backgrounds you can use, and you should be able to browse categories. So there should be seasonal categories, and there's winter. And like if you grab that, you can apply to page, and there you go. I like to make my own, but if that's the way you want to go, that's fine. And I'm going to upload this. I might have to up the resolution on this particular image, but let's give it a shot, see what happens. OK, so actually, I'm going to put this back there. And then let's see what it says. Yeah, see, it says low resolution. OK, so what you want to do in that case is uh, you want to go back to Photopea. And we will open that. And we will heighten the resolution back to 300. And then we'll go OK. And then we'll export. Export as a PNG. And then I'm just going to put Christmas photo album. Or Christmas album is fine. OK, save. And then we'll go back to, that's not what I want. That's what I want. And we'll upload again and select photo and Christmas album and blah, 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 blah. Let it do its thing. Do, do, do. My mouth is parched. I need some coffee. All right. Excuse me while I have some coffee. Excuse me while I whip this out. Blazing saddles for all you youngins out there. Look it up. It's a good movie. All right. So we do this. All right. So that uh, resolution message isn't there anymore. So there you go. You got your photo album. You're going to do 100% better than I did, but uh, you get the general idea. All right. Scroll down to see the rest of your book. OK. All right. So this will be blank in your printed book. OK. I think you can change the color on this if I'm not mistaken, but I might be mistaken. Uh, maybe I am mistaken on that. So that's the inside cover. So from here, you can decide, OK, um, do I want to do my own? Do I want to use their template? 
Now you can use their template and do your own background. Um, so for instance, go to one of these and I don't know, what do you think for background on that particular one? Let's grab this one. Okay, download. Now, probably each time you're going to have to, well, I don't know, because those are high resolution. Let's let's try it without going to Photopea and uploading the, uploading the resolution or up, upping the resolution, because uh, those are pretty high. All right, so let's grab that, let that load up, and let's see how that goes. Um, you should be able to set it as background. Yeah, okay, so if you left click on there, Border edit. Is that how you do that? Yep. Okay. You hit that. So that's your background. And then you can get your photos. I don't know what photos I have on my computer. Let's take a look. I'll just grab Uncle. I don't know. Who's who's he? He's Uncle. Uncle Brock. <laughs> we'll grab Uncle Brock. And we'll put the we'll have to up his resolution, right? So just go into photo Pia. And then, just like I showed you, open Uncle Brock. Here's Uncle Brock and Uncle Fester. I don't know. <laughs> okay, do 300. And then that seemed to like already be high quality, but that's okay. And then exports. I got too much going on. That's why it's kind of freezing. Okay, we'll put Uncle Brock. All right, and then we'll save. We'll go over here and we'll get more photos. We'll upload Uncle Brock. So all these uh, links will be down in the description for you. And while we're waiting here, if you have any questions, if you want me to do a video on any particular element of this or something else as far as photo albums are concerned, certainly put them down in the description and I will make a video of it for you. This is very high resolution. That's why it's taking so long and that's perfectly okay. You'd rather want higher than lower and it will tell you, the photo book will tell you. So it's just processing that information or that photo, uh, the Snapfish. System is processing the photo, and then once it's processed, then you just drag it over. And then there you go. You can, uh, oh, well, you can drag that down, obviously, but I didn't want to do that. So if you screwed up, do undo. And, oh, okay, you grab this hand and do it. I haven't done this in a long time, so I apologize. All right, so you grab the hand, you can position it, you can resize it, obviously, you see it there. Um, you can move it back to front. All right. And then you just go to your next page. And then you click on the page and you decide, okay, do I want to do my own or do I want to use their template? So what I mean by doing their own, we'll go back to this. And remember when I did this? So let's grab a picture. And actually, I'm just going to use this picture. And I'm going to zoom out and zoom out and zoom out and zoom out. So I'm going to grab this tool right here. I'm just going to highlight it. Go to image and co uh, copy. Oh, actually edit. I'm sorry. Edit, edit and copy. There it is. Copy, copy, copy. <laughs> oh, it's going really slow just because I got too much open. All right. And then I'm going to paste. All right. And if it comes too incredibly big, what you can do is freeform. And then click, make sure this is clicked and that will um, get 50%. If it's not clicked, then that will be 100% or that will be 50% and that'll be 100. So it's combining both. Uh, so if you, f you change one, the other one will change. Um, so there you go, we'll go 15%, whatever. All right. Now, the reason I would use this is this is what you can do. See, if you wanna, uh, let me copy that. Copy and paste. All right, and let's grab this and then we can go over there. Let's just say this is a different picture. Um, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, should be able to freeform it. Why am I not able to freeform it? Oh, okay, because I had the wrong tool. 
this is uh, this tool for freeforming. Uh, but I actually want to. Oh, I see. Okay, so I'm on the background. We have to go to the layer that there. Okay. Now we can freeform. There we go. All right. Now we can switch it around. So if you have different pictures, right, you can uh, kind of be creative in that way. And then this is all screwed up. Go here and fix this. There is a way to lock it. So if you come here, um, you can lock it. And then you can't do that. You can't screw up like I just did. All right, and then you can get borders like you did before. So you can come here, and we'll try another border. Uh, let's see. And you can you can manipulate this better than you can with Canva. Um, you can stretch it out. You can't do that with Canva. So I'll show you exactly what I mean. I just want to find one um, that will work. Yeah, let's do this one. Um, ah, crap. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to move my dopey head. All right, let's save this image. All right, we'll go back to Photopea. And we'll open. And we will grab this tool right here. We'll copy. I don't need that black part, so I'm just going to go down right to there. Copy, go back to this, go paste. Okay, so we want to get this white out of there. So grab your um, wand and just highlight it with your left and click. And then if you want this out of there, just be careful that you're not, you want the white out of there. Uh, there we go. So the white's out of there. <clears throat> okay, and then you can um, grab this and move it over. Oops. You got to get that on that layer. Uh, come on now. Oh, I got all three highlighted. Stop. <laughs> you just want to highlight that layer. All right. And then you want to freeform it. So freeform. And then you can move it. It does that on its own. Oh, that is so annoying. I want this layer. I don't want the other layers. All right. So freeform. Right, you kind of do it like that, and then you can uh, a little more. And you can zoom in to. It's easier if you zoom in. So, and then you just play around with it, and you can make a border. I'm not going to do this 100% correct, but I just want to give you a general idea. And then you can put elements, right? So you can go here. You can put, this is Pixabay. So if you want to put in like Christmas clip art and say, yeah, I want to put a stocking. So we'll go to the stocking and we'll download. And it's pretty high resolution. Well, you might not even need that high resolution actually, but we'll see what happens. And go back to um, Photopea, open. All right, and then you can just grab this and go copy. And then go and go paste. All right, and then you can grab this tool right here, and then you can just put it wherever wherever you want. Okay, and you can put text on here as well. So if you hit that, um, there's the text field right there. You can put Merry Christmas. Ooh, it's very small. All right, and you can highlight that and make it much much bigger. And they get the color you want it. So it must not be. Um, I gotta find it again. <laughs> oh boy. All right. It's there someplace. There it is right there. Um, we want that white. Oh, here it is right here. So, eh, green's good. Green's good. Oh, hit OK. OK. And you want the whole thing green. Green. Now, okay, and you can click on there and finish up the Mary. Mm. So, great googly muggly. All right, 
I cheated a little bit. All right, and then we can put, um, you can put as much as you want, you can put 500 if you want. Hit enter. Oop, might be a little too big. Enter, you can just play around with it. 300, and then there's the font, right? There's the font if you want to change the font. All right, so, and then you can click on this, and once you're done, and go like this. All right, and we'll move this up a little bit. We can move these over a little bit. Yeah, you have to move your frame over a little bit. Just leave it there. You can move the frame over a little bit, and so on and so forth. All right, and then your image. Mm -hmm. It's it's uh, the resolution's high enough, and of course you don't want it like that. You want to do a lot better than I just did. I'm just doing this as an example, and I'll just put it in as an example, and I will save it. All right, and then we'll go back to our photo album. Um, yeah. Okay, and then we will get our photo and select, and there it is right there. So really, your your imagination um, is you know boundless as far as this stuff is concerned. All right, and then um, <laughs> I forget how you do this. There you go. Okay, you click it. You click on it. Okay, and I want it as background. So you click this. Now you can put it as both. So can I double click again? Oh, you can hide it, you can up it and down it. Let's go back. So if you double click this again, you can put it as both pages if you want. And you're gonna have to up the resolution on that, but we'll just do that one page. Okay, and then that's that's your that's your page. That's your photo album. You can do a bunch of different pictures. You can do a whole bunch of stuff um, on Photopea. Okay, uh, other things I would suggest. So like if we went to movies or we went to um uh, like there's the fringe festival around rochester fringe festival so we've been there a couple times many years ago so i would put um different stuff like if i had movie tickets i'd scan them and then i would put them here or i could upload them to canva and put them if if we went to movies i would download the movie poster and that would be one page so I would, and we'll go through an album. I'll show you exactly. Just give you some ideas at the end here. I didn't want to do that. So what you can do if you go to like a page like this and you want, okay, well, we went to the Fringe Festival. I want something like that. I'm going to have two things in the, um, I'm going to have this. I'm going to go go full page. And then there's going to be the snippet tool. And that's going to be down in the description. Now with the snippet tool, what you want to do once that's installed, let's go back here. You want to hit, um, your it's going to be different for for each keyboard um, you want to a uh, print page or print screen so for my particular keyboard it's this it might be one button it might be two buttons and then this is what you want to show up and you just grab this and say i just want this to be a uh, picture and then you double click on this and then hit save and then uh, i want to save it to my downloads folder Boom. And uh, I'll just put fringe. Okay. And then, okay, you might have to bring it over here to get the resolution up so it, it will look good when you print the book. So let's do that like we've been doing. Eh, it might have been high enough. I'm not sure. Okay, excuse me. Okay, not enough RAM needed. Yeah, I got too much stuff open. That's what's going on here. Let's see if I can close some of this stuff. Get rid of this. All right, let's try that again. All right, 300. Oops. Okay. All right, and then we'll save. And then I can just go fringe high res or something like that. I'll just do high. All right, let that go. And then we'll go back to this. And we will upload that. All right. And then the, with this as well, um, you can manipulate this as well. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. So if you have a blank page, you can just bring this over. 
and it doesn't have to be your background. You can go like this and move it. Uh, it really depends on the way you want to do it. And you can even put text on here. Um, if I do recall, I have to remember where to put How do you put text on here? I know you can do it. Uh, I bet you it's more layouts. Yeah, here's text only. So if you go to more layouts, um, there's a bunch to choose from. And then you can do text. There's uh, a way we could just bring text over without... You know, I think we can do we can do this. We can do this. Grab this. So do your text first, then manipulate it, and then bring your image over. Okay. Yeah, do it that way. You just got to fool it, I guess. Just do it in that order. All right. Very good. And I must have just zoomed in somehow. Let's zoom out. Oops, I don't want to zoom out that much. All right, so there's your next page, and just click on that, and then just put in your text. And zoom out. All right, and there's your text. You probably can center it and everything as well. I don't know why it keeps zooming in. I... All right, so you can align it. You can align your text and change the font and so on. So you can play around with it that way. So that's how you grab that. Or if you want the entire page, here's something else. So this is go full page. So if we come here again, and it's going to be right here once you install that plugin. And what it's going to do is grab that entire page. And then you can um, download it. And then if you want, you can bring it into here. And then you got that entire download we just did. And then you can... Uh, increase the size again if you need to do it, if it's showing that you need a higher resolution. And then the other thing I want to show you is, um, so we never had these. You remember how I did the um, the wand and then deleted, like, um, where the heck is it? Oops, I want to get rid of this. Remember how I deleted the space in this, in this um, uh, frame? Um, if you want to do that to a picture, we could never do this before, but now you can. Where the heck is it? I got to find it. Here it is. There's tons of these out there. If you just put in uh, remove background, uh, let's see what we can do. Let's grab these two guys. And all right, it will automatically remove the background. That is so awesome. I can't tell you. You used to have to outline things because um, there would be all different colors. So if you use that wand, you'd have to do each color or use the eraser. It just took a long time and now boom, it does it like that. Um, so technology, technology is good. <laughs> and you can download that and then download it. Make sure it's a PNG um, and then you can put stuff behind it. So for instance, um, let's upload that. Do, do, do. Here they are. Yeah, let's just add another page. Let's bring these back, right? So you got that, and then you can, um, here, we'll put this background and we'll move that to the back. Layer set to back, send to back, and then I don't know why you would want to do this, but this is just to show you you can do it. All right, and then you download it, and uh, that's it, Gales and guys. I know this was a long one. I didn't really edit this too much. I just wanted to show you through the process and uh, give you ideas um, to get your photo book going and working. And it takes a long, long time if you're really anal about these things and really want to do a nice job. It took me hours and hours to put um, a photo album together. Remember, the more pages you add, um, it's, it costs you like a couple bucks per page or more. And I think you can only do, don't quote me on there, I think you only can do like 150 pages or something like that. I went full Monte, meaning I went as many pages that it would allow me and, and made a nice thick um, Christmas photo album um, for the ex-wife once upon a time when she was the wife. But um, yeah, guys and gals, get started now. And it usually takes like a week or two weeks for Snapfish to get your photo album to you. So you probably got a good month to do this if, if you want to do it or uh, do it anytime uh, during the year. It doesn't have to be Christmas, right? 
All right, gals and guys, I hope this helped you. Any questions, obviously, down in the um, down in the comments. I'll be more than happy to do any type of video you ever want for any question that uh, is thrown at me. And please subscribe to this channel if you could be so kind. And please uh, thumbs up on this to help uh, me show up uh, due to the YouTube algorithm. Please share and please hit the bell for more updates. And that's it, gals and guys. I got tons of videos coming out for Christmas time, so we'll see each other very, very soon. All right. Peace out.